Hey all, and welcome back for another Health Icons at Patreon. A quick look. Today we're going to be taking a, well, fast, speedy look at Yakuza Kiawe for the PlayStation 4. This is a remake of the original Yakuza for the PS2 and was commissioned by Gino Dude. I have Tanner with me for this one, and thank God he's actually played the game. Let's begin. Yes, I've played y Yakuza Kiwami, not Kiawe, but that's fine. What, um, what was I thinking of? I'm sure there's like some. You're thinking of the gym leader from Pokemon Sun and Moon. Or, sorry, the trial captain. Oh my god, you're not wrong. You're absolutely right, in fact. And Kiwami means extreme. <laughs> of course it does. Uh, I've always had, like, a passing interest in the Yakuza games, and I guess Shenmue to a lesser extent and whatnot. But, um, I just never got around to playing it. I have a copy of the original Yakuza 1. A gaming Brick gave it to me, actually. I've just never had time to sit down and play it. So then, you know what? The good thing is... This is one of those remakes that you can still go back and play the original, and it's there's still reason to play the original. Yeah. Like, they're different enough that you can look at them both separately. Specifically, in the original, of course, it was English-dubbed. The only English-dubbed Yakuza game uh, featuring Mark Hamill as Goro. Who is... Luke Skywalker and the no, Joker. I know who Mark Hamill is. I mean, Goro. Oh, Oh, you've seen Goro. He's the guy with the eye patch and the shirt open, and he has the knife. Oh, the meme yep. lord. Sure you, Chan. That guy. Okay, well, perfect casting, I have to say. Yeah, no, 100%. Oh, no. Shenanigans? A Yakuza would never murder. What are you, high? I, I don't know if you've ever read it, but one of my favorite news articles that, like, any games journalist has done is We sat down actual Yakuza yep, to play Yakuza it. 4. Yep. It's the best. It's good, it's great, yeah. It's really cool for you as well, it's just like, hey, they don't do things like they used to. Click. Sip. Freeze! We knew you were a murderer, but this is evidence. Well, it's interesting though, because, like, in Japan, most of the time, the police never even go after the Yakuza because that's a bad idea. Yeah, they, don't they just, like, keep the streets clean for the most part? Well, the Yakuza actually, like, despite them doing horrible crime stuff, they actually don't usually get normal people involved, so then the police don't have to worry about it. Right. So but th in this case, it makes you think, well, what happened then? Uh, there's a shift in the balance of power, but I guess we're going back in time to before that incident, just to give us a little bit of, like, context and whatnot. I will say, this is, so this is the first game in the series, but weirdly, everyone agrees that Yakuza 0 does a better, like, job introducing the world and characters. This one is very in media res. It throws you in. Which I know some people like, but it's like, right, like, before we meet the main character, we're, we're introduced to this guy. And then we get the main character. Kiryu Kazuma. Nice. I hope it, I read his name in the right order. Did I, Tanner? It's, yeah, yeah. I'd say so. <laughs> I mean, you could go either way, honestly, because of, like, the name <laughs> things. Whatever. I'm a wee. Any voice actors I would recognize from anime and whatnot, mate? Well, one interesting thing is not from anime, but you might um, recognize that. Well, number one, um, we'll get to Kiryu in a sec. But um, one interesting thing is a lot of the main characters in the Yakuza series are like Hollywood level actors in Japan wow. that they actually get facially scanned in and then voice the characters and do the actions. Like they are big stars for all of them. Like I watch Common Rider, and like I'll see actors that are just, like, scanned in perfectly, and it's crazy. Okay, go to Peace Finance. I'm just holding R2, and it auto lets me follow and swagger. That's really cool, actually. That's a really good button. Yeah. I can just stand and talk, and talk and stand. So the place we're going to collect those unpainted Peace Finance, okay. Yeah. So they're just as unscrupulous as we are, I suppose. Yeah, not them around a bit, kick some heads in, go get some sushi, go to like a love hotel, then go to bed. I'm just throwing out stereotypes here, I hope some of them are sticking. You're not wrong. <laughs> um, 
So I was super wrong. I thought that Kiri's voice actor was a famous anime voice actor, but he's not super much. I was in the wrong then. He did voice the 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 voice actor for uh, Kiryu did voice Cranky and Diesel Ten in the Japanese dub of Thomas and Friends. Wow. It's easy to forget that those have their own dubs. Man, I think every game where you're forced to follow someone should have a follow button like this. No, it's a like it's a really nice button. She like gets taken to the surroundings and whatnot while still going to your destination. I have to say, I think one of the reasons why, at least in my opinion, the Yakuza series has gone so many fans is it's like GTA and Sleeping Dogs mixed together. So you always have like that neon glitz in the background. Well, they tried to, when uh, Yakuza 1 first came out, they tried to go off of, it's like Japanese GTA, but that got a lot of people disappointed when you can't say beat up random people in the street, or drive a car, so comparing it to GTA has like quite a bit of no, don't do that in the fan base. Like, yeah, you beat up people who deserve it or who come after you, but it's like you can't just beat up random people in the street. You gotta keep your image clean. Look at this toting salary, man. Makes me want to kick him in the nuts just on principle. What is tomorrow, but yesterday is today? Just swap out Kiryu and Jiren going around doing this stuff. They could be really entertaining. Well, they did just release um, Yakuza 0 in Japan. I mean, on a PC, um, which has led to a number of mods, which is the best. Well, we just put those rumors around. Just to let the money come out of the wall, it's a bit faster, you know? It's a very money-based series. Everything comes down to money and power. Oh no, you did not just shove my man. <gasps> not a golf club! You realize you're like 60, I could just wrench that out of your hands. Yeah, just a, a, a good push would probably kill him. <laughs> oh my god, he gets his boss subtitle and everything. Everyone gets boss subtitles. Nice. Yeah. So the original Yakuza only had one like combat style. Like you had just the gameplay, right? Which you, you, you are in right now, Dragon Mode. But this one actually adds in more combat styles to make it more interesting. Uh huh. Because um, the original just had basic combos and stuff, but then uh, Zero added them. So these actually backport the combat from Zero into this. Nice. I love this shit. Yeah, so the, the environments are very full of stuff that you can uh, play around with and throw. And there's an entire style devoted to automatically pick up items around you and just swing them in circles. Nice. Which works really well when you gear get, like, motorcycles. Look at all these combos I'm doing. The health gauge. Uh, yellow is health. If it flashes red... Critical condition, uh, use a disposable recovery item, eat some food at a restaurant. The training session has been completed. Now make these peace finance loan sharks shut up and pay up! The tone is, is wonderful in these games, I absolutely love them. Is there a block button to speak of? There is a block button and a dodge button, which you can both, I think, are on... It, it's on some shoulder buttons, but I, I don't know. You haven't been taught it yet, so I don't know if it lets you. It's nice how you can't be, like, interrupted during certain things and whatnot. You. You! Sorry, I wanted to finish him fancily. So actually, uh, the Kiwami version here does add for bosses uh, super extreme finishing moves that are ridiculously Ooh. over the top. Yes, sir. I'm drinking tea while playing Yakuza with a Canadian co-commentator. I'm a jack of all trades. I want to go to Lee Burger. It works with a bit of an act like, oh, okay, it's Smile Burger. Because of course it is. 
So one really cool thing is this area is a place you can go to in Japan, I'm pretty certain. Like, it, it's a recreation of a real place. Well, I would be surprised if they didn't base the streets of Japan on the actual streets of Japan. Well, no, it's still, it's still just weird to me to see real-life places, like, transliterated into games perfectly. Yeah. Like, I've played through Tokyo's, like, all these different places there so many times in all these different RPGs, I'm like, I could probably walk around there myself and know where everything is. Yeah. How much is a hundred million yen in, like, dollars? Uh. Well, uh, you basically just take the last two digits and move it to be cents, so it's about a million. Okay. Uh, completion points by completing tasks. Got it. Uh, you can exchange completion points to Bob... <sighs> Under the... <laughs> Sorry, it was such a long name. Utsunomiya. Thank you. Under the Tenkaichi Street gate to... Da -da -da -da. It's going to be a lot of stuff to take in here. We were just actually playing Hollow Knight, which um, I think will come after this quick look. But, uh, yeah, let's just say it's taxing my brain. Just walk down the street with a briefcase. Nothing will go wrong, I'm sure. Oh, Tanner. You just had to go and jinx it, didn't you, mate? Oh, you should not have picked a fight. So it's, uh, I just saw some screenshots from Yakuza Kiwami 2, the remake of the second game, which was just, uh, just released. Um, in one section, you actually get to play as Kiryu as, like, a 14-year-old. He was the buffest 14-year-old I've ever seen. Wow. It's crazy. Hey, there's that guard button. Nice. So you want to do the lessons, though, don't just beat him up here, otherwise you'll be stuck. Okay. Oh yeah, very nice. And you can use the X to quick step. yeah. Come on. Come on. Okay, I wasn't waiting for an attack, I just had to do it. The red gauge is the heat gauge. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So your heat gauge lets you do the cool stuff. <laughs> so you want to grab an item and then you can do super item moves. So I think there, there's a, a a stick kind of in the wall there. I'll look around. Oh, it's gone now. Never mind. You can also just grab him. So your triangle is your do cool stuff button that's, when you have heat gauge. That's perfectly fine by me, mate. Whee! That suplex is ridiculous. It really is. So it is also area sensitive, so if you're by a wall, you'll slam him into the wall. If you're like by a by a door, you'll like crush his head into a door. There's different sort of places that let you do different things. Nice. Oh, combos though. Did you see that shit? So the important thing to remember, Kiryu never kills someone. Right. Never. Remember that. Here he is, Mark Hamill. Incoming Ham. Oh, he's the best. I've heard lots of good things about him. Goro Majima. Or Majima Goro, whatever. So he gets a greatly expanded role in this game here. Uh -huh. um, in the original, he is just kind of like a sort of mini-boss. Um, you know, like he's in the plot, but not as much. But of course, as the games went on, he got very popular, including being playable in Yakuza 0 there. Um, so they expanded it with, I'm sure you've heard of this, the Goro Everywhere, or no, the Majima Everywhere system. Yeah, I have. So it's basically, as you play the game, he'll just appear. No, don't kill him. Oh, I did it to him. I guess you do have to set an example to your subordinates. No. Oh, he was doing it for us as a gift. That guy's probably going to die later. When the gear is not around. Hey. Hey. 
Life lessons. They have incredibly detailed pores in this game. They do. The character models are amazing. Well, and it's the crazy thing. Uh, up to Yakuza 6, so this was the last game um, that did this, but these were also on the PS3. Like, the, these are double generation games, uh, which is crazy when you look at this and go like, they were able to get this to look pretty good on the PS3 also. Were they still running at 60 on uh, the PS3? I think so, because the other games were, and it's because it's just like the engine there. So they were, I think they just toned down a few of the lighting effects and like a few, the textures are toned down. But like for the most part, it's, I've heard they're pretty good ports. I like Hero. Oh yeah, no, he's great. Uh, but after the next game, Yakuza 6, they moved to a new engine, which is PS4 only, and that's where we've been. And some people like the new engine more, and some people are like, it's it just needs a little bit of time to catch up. But, uh, yeah. Damn, he's a tough cookie. He just walks it off. I'd be scared of a guy who, like, took several umbrellas to the face and didn't do anything. Oh, no. It's his iconic weapon for Goro there. Little Blade. It's called a Kodachi. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that would shake me. Look at it. Barely even flinched. He was even able to unfurrow his eyebrows. So two different sides of the Yakuza ethos here. Yeah, pretty much. Interesting way. Had a look at her things. There's a little bit of nihilism in there, I think. Well, this actually ties quite a bit into the story of Yakuza 0 there, ah. but interestingly, like, again, this is the first game in the series, so it's really crazy how 0 is such a good prequel that people say, no, go back to that one. It works better. Well, that got wacky at the drop of her. Because I think this is the Kiwami exclusive. Um, like, like this cutscene would have ended in the original. Now we're into Kiwami. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess he's gonna keep following us now. <laughs> what a goofball. <laughs> the men are like, we gotta put up with this shit. <laughs> cause it's, yeah, it's, cause like, as the, as the games went on, he evolved to be a bit weirder and more fun. So it's like, you can see where it's like, okay, get out of the original direction of the first game. Now we go into, like, the new, more, you know, in line with it. Right, Goro. Right. That kind of sucks, but at least you're not dead. Oh, you know, I got a little bit of a briefcase situation here. Oh, upstairs, right. Yep. How big would you say the overworld is in this game, mate? It's decently sized. It's um I mean remember this was meant to run on the um on the PS2 there. Yeah. Um it's it's a good enough number of streets that you can keep discovering new sort of like, you know, side areas. It's not big, but it's dense. That's that's the thing. It's a very dense bunch of streets there. For God's sake, PS4, we will continue down the forward next is available. <laughs> Kratos just had to get in there. Boy, remember the playthrough. It's going back, guys, don't worry. Maxi and I are planning sessions. We're in a nice looking comfy bar here. Oh man, Japanese bars are so comfy looking. I just got done a quick look of my own of like some weird dumb visual novel game and like it starts off in a jazz bar and I'm like, I wish these places were here. But they're not, alas. I 
I'd go out drinking if there was a nice, chill jazz bar. Not a dumb sports bar here. Well, aren't there like gaming bars you could go to? There is, but they're grody. They're so grody. Ah, uh, right. There is a, a big level of, like, brotherly sort of relationships in the Yakuza games, which I just love, well, where it's, yeah. like, more than friends, but less than actual family, and it's a really nice feeling of, we're just getting together and it's good. Oh. Was that the ring that was in the murder scene? Yes, and remember, we're in a flashback. Oh no. Like, loosen up. Get crunk. We only live once. <laughs> Keeps going back and back and back. Hello, it's me. And also me. Weren't we just in this bar? Yes, but now it's a few months ago again, so oh, we're even God. further back. <laughs> it's raveling in on itself. And, and then Kiryu's like, hey, this reminds me of that time a few weeks ago, and it just keeps pulling back. It's like that original beta demo for Spore, it just keeps pulling back and shows you the universe eventually. Oh, what a disappointment. Oh. Got a smoke, we're in the Yakuza. Yeah, smoking in Japan is quite a, uh, quite a big thing. It's, uh, definitely more so than here, because they don't have the stigma as much. I mean, as long as, like, all the negative elements of it are clearly labeled and whatnot, is there any reason not to allow people to smoke? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> that far is my eyebrows. So it's his, um, inability to kill that's holding him back, is what I'm getting from this. A little bit, yeah. He's, he's, he's definitely more of a Yakuza who's in it for the actually trying to help people than, you know, not just in it for the money. I mean, he's still a criminal, don't get us wrong, but he's a nice criminal. Crook of a heart gold, essentially. Well, they don't really steal, like, by conventional means. It's more like getting around laws of and exploiting stuff, which makes him, you know, illegal. And, and then there's the whole murder thing, but he doesn't do that. Yeah. Well, as long as we don't murder, we can kick a dog to near death, and we'll be okay. Don't know why I picked a dog there instead of a human. I apologize. I've been watching a lot of JoJo recently. Araki. Yeah. Oof. Araki did it to me. He hates them puppers. You could make a decent, like, part 3 game using this, like, engine, I think. Well, um, there is a part 1 game, but there's also a part 5 PS2 game by Capcom, which kind of works like Yakuza, except it's all boss fights. Ah. Uh, huh. I'm sort of like half in, half out on that idea, but part 5 this is October! Yep, yep. And that game was gonna come out here until they realized, wait, all the stand names, we can't publish this. Oh no, Araki, why would you do such a thing? Because I can. Haha, <laughs> now to never age another day. Fucking vampire piece of shit. <laughs> I hope it's not alcohol, because this is going to be really awkward, otherwise. There is an interesting, like, this, a lot of, one of the reasons this game is very popular in America is it really goes into the, like, the Japanese, sort of, how everything works. And, like, the whole idea of bar hostesses is, like, super foreign, where it's like, yeah, they give gifts, and then the hostesses come and talk, and it's like, that's, we don't have that here at all. Yeah, I mean, we have, like, bartenders and whatnot who are... Yeah, but they, they stay behind the bar and they're usually quiet, maybe give a little bit of advice, but they're mostly working their job. But here, it's like, no, the people come to the bars for the hostesses. Man, I don't drink anyway, so I don't really frequent bars, but if I went into one and, like, 
the barkeeper couldn't tell me how to defeat Majima. What's the fucking point, really? <laughs> if, if the bartender's not providing critical information in your time of need, oh, I see. is it really that good of a bar? You're on a trading path and you can't figure out who to give the magnifying glass to. Well, give me $500 dues and maybe I'll tell you. Ridiculous. Alright. We were just in a very long cutscene there. This game kind of goes at its own pace. I like that. Well, it's a lot. It, it goes between long periods of movie like cutscenes and long periods of gameplay. Uh, so. So, uh, some other additions that we won't really be getting to that are into this. Um, the original Yakuza didn't have too much in terms of minigames and such. Uh, this adds in a bunch from both Yakuza 0, including like the mini kart racing um, and some other stuff, like bowling and darts. Uh, but they also add in... Okay, so, uh, do you know the game or TV show Dinosaur King? Yes. So, that's a Sega-branded arcade game. Right. There is one that came either before or after, I don't know, but it's called Mushi King, which is basically Dinosaur King with bugs. Well, this game has a playable version of Mushi Queen, which is take the engine of, you know, these bugs that fight each other, but replace them with girls in bikinis mildly cosplaying as bugs. Neat. Ah, I can save. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. So this one originally had it, you had to go to phone booths to save, but now you can just save anywhere. So what do phone booths do? They still let you save. Why not? You know, there's no reason to take it out. Right? Yeah, no, I like that. I mean, mind you, now the phone booths are also an item box, so that's useful. Yeah, very much so. Did I just save, like, twice? No, go back. Come on, thank you. No, because it, it does your save and then the system save. It does save twice every time, which is a bit weird, but hey, whatever. Uh, let's see. So you want to go to, it's on the bottom right uh, of the map. It's like a little, it's a jewelry store. Okay, so up this way, then like, hit a right and then go down. Yep. You can follow it like a real map. Wow. Looking at the real streets. It's cool. That's pretty good. Uh, but some areas are blocked off because, of course, it's a tutorial. Of course, that's fun. I just love the style of, like, Japan and what I always get, like, so cozy watching the, um, visiting a game center sections of Game Center CX. No, for sure. So you can go walk on the, like, the outside street there. Uh, so you're basically only in this one big neighborhood but there's some areas that you get to go into which then open up into their own like little mini sort of you know expanded areas right so ah there it is la marche so one really cool thing is a lot of stores you can go into um and there's a lot of stuff you can find and buy and engage with including uh there's uh the sega ufo catchers that you can get monkey ball and stuff uh prizes from love that i i just love when franchises reference themselves well because it's the creator of monkey ball is also the creator of yakuza oh that's dope and if you take a look at him during the development of Monkey Ball, he looks like a standard Japanese businessman. And then you see when he started to develop Yakuza, and he looks like a Yakuza now. He is the most hardcore griddle dude from just moving on from Monkey Ball. It's the craziest change ever. Like, he looks like a character in his own game. But, you know, if you put him in front of Super Monkey Ball 2 and put him on an expert, that motherfucker will play it. No lives lost! Well, I think I one cool thing is as the games went on, they they added in more and more Sega games. I'm pretty sure the original Monkey Ball, like not Super Monkey Ball, but the original arcade game, is totally playable in one of the Yakuza games. Huh, I didn't even realize which is so cool. I didn't even realize it was an arcade game to begin with. Yeah, no, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, it's a trackball game, actually. That makes sense. Yeah, right. Like it just makes so much sense. I gotta say, I love like these subtitle games that are, um, how do I phrase this? That they just automatically skip through dialogue without having to press X and one. Yes, I know, in Akiru, it's fine. Is this a gaijin here? It looks like it. That's weird. I was just looking. <laughs> Disgusting. But yeah, it's <laughs> some of the reasons why I can't really bring myself to go back to Digimon 
that much because you have to just skip through all the dialogue and I just like to read sometimes I'll be on autopilot during cutscenes. Yeah, the, the the auto button is is very necessary in a lot of games. Uh, da, 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 da. Nice. All right, back we go. Can I take a taxi or something? Uh, not now. I think later you can. Not yeah, sure. Because they want to they want you to walk the streets of Camarocho and and feel the world. Ah, uh, it makes my doki doki go doki doki picnic. Oh. Certainly suspicious. He better not take that ring. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, <laughs> there he goes. How does he not notice that happening? Whatever. I'll just go and kick him to near death. So this is the first quest of the game, and it's like, I wonder if people didn't like this because it's like the very first thing you do is you got to get that ring back uh so there'll be people with like talk bubbles above their head and they'll tell you where uh where to go gotcha they'll say like i saw a guy going this way he looks suspicious he had a ring ah uh, another victim so one i love the names of npcs because like almost all of them don't get actual names yeah. they get names that are just very situational and some of them are so funny that's great it's a little bit like persona 4 than like funky student a little bit yeah although he's an established character part of, part of the mythos is funky student man i miss the endurance run of giant bomb i should go back and watch that again sometime Club Sega in the background. That's a real place. It is, I know, Tano. This is so cool. I love it. I will use my stand to hunt him down. Um, what the fuck would Kiru's stand be? Um. Ooh, that's a good question. Let's see if there's any songs based on Yakuza. Yeah, or something to do with like breaking the law and whatnot. Oh my god, I, there's... Okay, well, you just said he has a song in Yakuza 0 that he literally sings, Breaking the law. Okay, breaking the law. It allows him to punch or disable his opponents without inflicting mortal damage. Yeah, there, there's full karaoke, like, music rhythm game, like, in-depth in Zero, which is great. dum da dum da dum not seeing anything just now. So you want to definitely... Every time you see a person, talk to them and they'll be like, Hey, go here. Gotcha. So you do want to look for, like, these small alleyways. Oh, there he is. What the fuck? That's extreme Bob's, Bob Utsumiya. Okay. <sighs> He's he's the DLC sort of character that you can go pick up and you can get the DLC. Also, hey, Sonic reference. Wow, I don't have enough collection points. Alas, alas for me. Yeah, he's he's the guy you get your DLC pickups from. But I will say, you're in a flashback right now, so it might not be the best time to pick up your your DLC items. Just running about looking for guys to talk to. I'm not seeing anything. So you're going to want to also look through, like, all the alleyways, because, like, yeah, there's the main roads, but there's also small side areas. No, I go. Okay, I can't go this way to your shit. I keep seeing the same character models. It's, that's definitely one problem that, um... It's not, not <laughs> criticism, it's everyone. just an observation. Well, no, because, well, remember, it is a... It is a PS2 game, so they literally have finite resources for what they can remake. Oh, there! see, that's a lady you can talk to there. Also, you just passed him. Hello. <laughs> if I can't see him, he can't see me. Boy, oh I'm an actual baby with no object permeance. <sighs> you can't pay back what you took. With rings! Zip zoom! Wow. How fast is this fucker? He's fast. Again? Really? Oh no, you're a different person. We should really recruit this guy. 
Yeah, he seems like a better criminal than some of the Yakuza members. <laughs> So in uh, Yakuza 0, there is a recruitment system where you actually get to recruit people, um, and then you get to, like, place them in different uh, properties to manage, right? Uh-huh. One of the managers you can get is a chicken. Because if you bowl a turkey in a, in the bowling yeah. minigame, then the, the lady there is like, congrats, you win a turkey, and then she gives you a chicken, which gets to be a manager. Why not? Yeah, I can see it there. I wasn't trying very hard to hide. I should have just hailed a taxi, really. He's not... Like, he's good, but he's not smart. Music's kicking up. Frustration's getting bigger. Bam, bam, bang, pull my Yakuza trigger. There you go, done. What <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Why, are you an expert fighter as well? I'm an heir to a dead and lost art of assassination. <laughs> Shifty, oh my god! Oh, ridiculous. Try and grab the bikes there, they have some fun stuff. Okay, so here's where you get your styles from Yakuza 0. So, I would really recommend doing the, um, yeah, beast style here. You automatically pick up stuff and use it, and it's the best. Wow, he actually wasn't kidding. There we go. Boom. I love beast style, because it's literally, is there an item within grabbing range? You will grab it and swing it automatically. Nice. Which, in alleyways with bikes and stuff, you are unstoppable. Not a graceful victory, but I'll take it. They each have different defensive options. So, like, I think beast style, you can't dodge, but you get a better defense. And the, uh, there's the quick style where you can't defend, but you get to dodge way quicker. So it's it's very different for the different styles there. And then later on, some enemies will have to be defeated by one style or the other. Oh, you idiot. I like how the guy in the background was walking up, he saw Kiryu and walked away. <laughs> Smart move, I think. That's, you know what, I feel like by this point a lot of these people who work in this area are just used to seeing him, and so they're just like, yeah, it's, I'm not gonna walk that way today. It's not worth it. Alright, at least now we have a location to go to. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. No more suspicious man to follow. So one thing that this game does do once you get into the base game is you'll be walking around and if you see thug type NPCs, that means you're walking towards an area where random encounters can start. So it kind of like, you actually have to look at, well, who's in the area around me? And you know, you might not want to run because that might make you suspicious. So there's some interesting stuff with the general movement, but eventually you get to a point where you get so strong they just start ignoring you. Nice. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Of course a pawn shop would be down a back alley. Why wouldn't it be? Slightly shady. Just slightly. This is actually a pretty nice looking pawn shop. Yeah, with all those totally real handbags and all those totally not stolen jewelry. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Looks like I'm a little short. No. So no you Ready for a little bit of five-finger discount? Or maybe four, if you, like, didn't do a mission for the Yakuza properly recently. Oh, yeah, that's a big thing. We're getting your... That's why, in Japan, the number four is, like, super associated with death. Is because there's no greater shame than having four fingers. Right, because it relates to people who failed or who are traitors. So interesting. Just like culture and whatnot. Yeah. Well, that's why um, when a lot of Western cartoons come to Japan, like, for example, like Ninja Turtles, they've always had four fingers. They actually will then digitally erase one of them to give them three. Ah, oh, okay. Because, because you can't have dudes walking around with big ol' four fingers, because that represents them being horrible members of society, right? So they have to erase them for the children's cartoons. 
Did um did they actually do that for Abe's obviously by any chance? I'm sure. Yeah, that would I would say that's definitely a localization thing that they would have done. Uh, because you can't have four finger characters. They and it's a lot more effort to add a finger than it is to remove one, obviously. Yes it is. True to life as well. Ooh. Let's see, who can give me money? Oh yeah, this is really good. Hey, it's our boy! One thing I like most about the Yakuza is just how fresh everyone is dressed. Oh yeah, they're the best. Those silk shirts are so cool. And I mean actually cool, not like the ones you'd wear in elementary with like Goku on it. Like those are actually kind of lame, though I kind of want one now. <laughs> but like, like these are actually really cool shirts. And actually they, they revealed the protagonist of Yakuza 7, who's going to be a different guy. And he's basically wearing the inverse of Kiryu, where he is like wearing a uh, an open purple jacket with then a white shirt in the middle and like it's it's slightly different but looks just as good oh what a bro he's like there you go here's the body pay me back whenever and especially when you realize he basically gave you about one thousand two hundred dollars yeah well i'm sure that's like pocket change for a yakuza Oh yeah, literally, because in, uh, in Yakuza 0, you'll go up to stores and flash a briefcase full of money, and then you own the store. Wow. Oh. They put the money up, the fuckers. Well, I knew that you wanted it, so I put up the price. Like, this guy's the worst. Like, he knew we were coming to get it. Like, it's literally, wait here, I'm going to get the money. And it's like, comes back with the money. Sorry, we raised the price. Ebisu, which is in his, uh, in his name there, it means shrimp, which means that this is more of a prawn shop than a pawn shop. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Awful. Oh. Not only are puns good, but when they hit the two languages, that's when it's the good stuff. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, Shinji. You're gonna be in rags by the end of tonight, my friend. Just, and so you just keep doing this. He keeps raising them. This is such a scummy thing for him to do, but, like, it's kind of in character for pawn shops. Oh, I'm sorry, Shinji. Hey, you. Yeah, you better walk away. <laughs> <laughs> The average NPCs, yeah, they walk away when they approach Kiryu, which is the smart thing to do. Okay, don't go this way. Yeah, you gotta go back to where Shinji was. Oh my god, I just absorbed those NPCs! <laughs> Ghost NPCs, oh. Jesus. I'm just always around when you need me. Maybe you're my stand, Shinji. <laughs> The short and sweet. I need more money, bro. <laughs> he keeps pointing up, but I can't stop him. So, I don't know if you caught it, but do you know what he thinks he's using the money for? Prostitutes. No, well, no. No, no, that's not good. Soapland. Explain. Soapland is basically places where girls just touch you with soap for money. Huh. <laughs> what a bro. Don't, don't even like question his superior. Well, no, he's like, he's like, you went there and then you're back and you're going for more. You're so cool. Dude. And it's like, is he really? <laughs> I swear to God, if you put it up. Yubioka. <sighs> Like, how, how scummy. This guy, twice now. Everything about this is disgusting. Alright, tell me who bought it. I don't care if that's against the law. I'm kind of getting annoyed, though. I sold it. But he let your guard down for a split second. Oh, he set it aside. Had to make me swear, didn't you? You look serious about it. That's why I raised the price again. Yes. 
Yeah, it was already pre-engraved. Could I have it for free then? There you go. He was good after all. Redemption arc. You think he would have just looked before, though? Not since that one guy stopped doing those self pity comics have I been so proud of a person. That's a deep cut right there. A little bit. Oh, um, you know, you can hear the music in the background, right? A little bit. So there, there's like kind of like it's kind of like it sounds like real sort of music. Well, they can actually play Sonic songs. <laughs> Uh, I was just in a place in a game, in one of them, I forget which one, uh, and it just starts playing Dreams of an Absolution from Sonic 06, and I'm just like, this is weird, this is not, it's kind of weird. Adorable. Hopefully she won't die horribly soon. Well. <laughs> So this right now is in 1995, the game. Yes. Um, you can actually follow them through the years, and it's kind of cool. The first, Yakuza 0 starts in the 80s, um, so you get even younger. Um, and then I think it goes all the way up to, like, the 2010s. So by the end, Kirio is quite old. Older than most game characters. I always love, like... Games that have like a chronological line. It's part of why I like JoJo so much, since you see like the same family growing. Yeah, and like I said, we did see the protagonist of uh, what Yakuza Seven will be, and uh, it's not Kiryu anymore because his story concludes. Um, I don't know what happens, so I don't know what that entails. But um, he, like, he does look quite different. In addition to him having the like the inverted color scheme, he's naturally very charismatic and kind of carefree, which is the opposite of super stoic uh, Kiryu. Uh, and he has like a dark complexion, like darker than normal, and like big, crazy, almost like afro curly hair. Like it's quite a change, and I'm excited to see where that goes. So, like, he's the star of a new series of Yakuza games, then. Yeah, so it's going to be same universe and everything, but, like, it's just, like, uh, the next generation. Oh, She put out. Oh my god, are we in another flashback? Keeps happening. <laughs> There's so many layers here. You have to go further. Hmm, a ring, you say? Well, it would be too much unless it was from a certain someone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're in there, Kiru. No, don't let him know that you're in love with someone. That's what makes them go weird. No. Mm. Like the idol fans in Japan. Woof. Oh, no. <laughs> it's funny because we're doing TV comms for Love Live right now. So you actually, in, I think it's Yakuza 5, you have a whole storyline of this one character that Kiryu kind of, like, adopts, um, going through her own idol phase, and you get to see the absolute scummiest side of the idol culture in Japan. Oh, that's the worst. It's kind of cool at the same time, though, because you get to see beneath the glamour. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Like it's, it's, it, it at first tries to be like, oh no, it's all good, and then as it goes on, you're like, no, this is scummy and gross. <laughs> okay, so everyone's happy now. Can we go back to the present? Oh, for f <laughs> okay, we're only one layer deep now. <laughs> okay, I think we'll play until we get back to the present, and then we'll call it. I'm not ending a, a quick look at the past. I can't do it. Look at this sleepy boy. Just let him chill there. That's a very Ace Attorney sort of thing. Yeah, it's the typewriter sound, like 100%. Also, Sonic Adventure 2, if I'm correct? Oh my god, you, do it? you're not wrong, yeah. All the alcohol, just like a baby would drink. So one thing that's interesting is I've heard people say, like, um, like when talking about video games as being cinematic, 
I'd say that Yakuza is one of the most cinematic games, and yet it doesn't actually fall into what we'd kind of assume would be like cinematic for games. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah. Like when people say, oh yeah, the new God of War is very cinematic, but then I think to myself, well, what type of movie is an over-the-shoulder sort of, you know, following a character always with no cuts? Like that's not how cinema is, where this is literally shot like movies most of the time with like the angles, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's, the Yakuza series is a big play on... Like Yakuza movies, which are huge in Japan, and of course we don't really get them here. Uh, but I think a lot of them are starting to come out to Netflix, and so you'd be able to actually watch Yakuza movies featuring actors who then go to play villains in the Yakuza games. Ah, slow. So it's really cool to sort of see. Um, oh, who's that one guy who made that one game? Um, that's like the horrible the the NES game where you get to beat your wife and kids. What's that one? Takeshi's Challenge, right? Yes. So Go Go Takeshi uh, is in a Yakuza game, so you get to, like, he's in there as a villain, which is cool. Oh, Beat Takeshi. Yeah, he's in a lot of large Japanese films. <laughs> Beat Takeshi, not Go Takeshi. What am I saying? Oh, I thought Beat was just, like, a nickname or something. Yeah. No, I think that's his... Wait, no. I have no idea. He comes to me. He says, I'll do the quick look with you. I know stuff. Turns out he doesn't. I have an approximate knowledge of many things. <laughs> I understand that reference. Can I just take this briefcase home? I feel like I've been carrying it for eons. Okay, so his actual name is Takeshi Kitano, so there you go. There you go. Ah, right. Hello? Okay, good for you, daydreamer. Uh, which building do I need to go in? Um, the one that you need to turn to. I think it's in. It's yeah, it's in one of the doors there. I got it. It's the right one. Oh, Kitaga. I got it, boss. The Super Sentai outfit you've ordered. It's here. <laughs> I made sure to get it slightly small because I know you like them tight. Jesus. I couldn't walk around with that. I I would feel so worried about it at all times. Like, I would just say, just mail it. Well, I'm going to take a while to up in the dark here and say you're not as equipped to beat down folks as Kiryu is. You, you're not wrong. I'm not that huge in hench. <laughs> I'm trying, though. Every day I'm growing stronger. Ugh, every day I'm swallowing. We don't talk about killing in front of the guy who doesn't kill. That means get out. You, you rude scum. You know, to get a dude with a massive scar across his face to just bow and be sheepish, you must be pretty strong. So that's his dad. What, like, literally? Yes. Adopted or blood? Blood. Okay. This is a place I should know. あそこの個人はお前たちの古里みたいなもんだ。オッケー。お。失礼します。あ、へすかなびえデッドリーフォンコール。シンジさんからです。Look at ユミか。なんで組長に詳しくは分かりません。でも、錦の事件をそれ聞いて組長のところに。でも、私は。劇場の横のビルの組長の事務所です。分かった。すぐに行く。おい、どうした道島組長が弓を強引に連れ去った
So, um, Nishikiyama, like, there is actually, um, they add in a lot of scenes because there were some worries that some characters, I'm not going to say who at this point, uh, didn't get enough development in the original. They actually expand upon their backstories, and people say, like, yeah, from a story perspective, this one is the better one because it explains where people went during certain times. That was very confusing in the original. What's cool. More depth, more context, always a good thing. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> Though I will say, like, as you go further into the series, uh, they, they always include, once you get to, like, the fourth one, like, a, a recap of everything, right? And, like, the recap for the sixth game is the longest thing ever. It's basically two movies. Wow. So you gotta get, a, get through a lot. <sighs> okay, pick up the pace, Kira. I love the big, like, mission text. It's the best. Mm -hmm. And it's it's actually just a free font that they used, so people have have been able to uh, just write whatever they want. I saw you pop in, Cones. You can't hide from me. Out of my way. I'm a man of a mission. I do really like the uh, the pop-up text when you're walking by people and you get to just hear their murmurs. It's It's nice. Better than not translating it like some games do. Indeed. Well, I have beast mode. We'll see how things work out here. Yeah. I like how he just approaches you in the streets like, I've got a golf club, I can beat you, and everyone's just like, really? <laughs> So you you want to try press yeah some of the other styles on your D-pad there to to give him a shot. Oh jeez. So rush style is like a brawler sort of like very fast paced style. Um, you get very quick dodges out of it, but not so much good guarding. Right. Um, then th so the dragon style is yuck is a one style, and then um, I forget what the other style is, but it's it's more it's very defensive. Right. Oh no, Bra Brawler is, is just a sort of balanced a style built around playing like a, a beat-em-up character, if you will. Yeah, there you go. Bit clumsy on my part, but I'll live. So the game does uh, have a, um, a level-up system too, so if you see that green gauge with the one, that means you have one level you can spend later on once you get to the uh, level-up section and there's like skill trees and all that stuff. Come on, Tom. <laughs> Stop fumbling about, you fool. It's okay, Kiryu just really hated that one cone and wanted to throw it away. Bob's as fuck on my part, but I kind of forgot for all the talking how to actually fight. You know, it, I mean, to be fair, like, there is long periods where you don't do any fighting. To then go from, like, a two-hour cutscene to a boss battle is quite jarring. Huh. They just mentioned the guy with the eye patch, so I'm not really liking where this is going. Some of the yeah, so they'll they'll be talking about uh, characters and stuff in the background. It's it's a nice touch. And some of the stuff that they say is literally worthless, but some of the stuff they say is actually very important. I think we're about to come back to the present with a bang. Oh, the door of fate. He just closed it and says, you know what? Not today. No, no. I'm I'm still a bit hungover. I'm actually a bit of a coward. Oh no. Did you just ice a member of like an opposing family? Uh, worse. I think that's from the same family. Oh no. Well, you did the good thing, but now you're gonna get the bad thing. Yumi. Yumi! <laughs> kind of crazy how this game goes from being like, you know, with Goro prancing around to this. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of mood whiplash. There's, there's a bit of it in this series for sure. I will take the fall for this. My eyebrows can bear the burden. 
妹はどうなるんだ次の手術が最後なんだろう Okay, I think I missed something about like medical stuff. It, it's Japan. There's always some sister with some operation. Don't worry, I will win Dawless Kingdom, and she will get the money. I was gonna say that is <laughs> he's basically Joey Wheeler. Go on, get out of it. Yumi, Tano, Jiru, Ike. They're coming. I can hear them. The fate police. We're finally back to the present, I think. Unless this whole game is a flashback. Oh no! Two seconds ago. Just locked out of time in like a two second interval. It was me. I did the gunning. It's true, he did it. Ruined that nice white suit. Actually, come to think of it, Yakuza really shouldn't wear white suits. That feels like a bad decision. Or is it a good one? Because then you'd know if, like, you'd be killing people and whatnot. I mean, I guess. If you wear a nice red suit, no one will ever know. You'll be able to go anywhere. This is where his path to darkness begins. You can tell because there's lightning and rain. He's not wrong, that lad. He's not wrong. <laughs> Ah, no, not the light. Okay, so you do actually get entangled with the police at points. Oh, yes. Actually, um, in Yakuza 4, you actually get to play as a police officer, as one of that game has four playable characters. Oh, oh. And, like, you get to see what is the police's perspective on all this Yakuza shenanigans. ケイザ。俺の持ち物の中に指輪があります。そいつを若頭の風間に渡してくれませんか。申し訳ありませんでしたって。わしはどうやって返せよ、you Especially, you gotta remember that, take a guess who funds the police in some regions of Japan. Oh yeah. It's entirely the Yakuza. They are so ingrained into their society, it's actually crazy. Mm -hmm. Also, shaved head Kiryu is extremely cursed. A little bit, yeah. So in the original version, like, all the costumes and stuff that you get as you play the game are just kind of like, they're, they're context-sensitive, but this game adds the ability to switch up your costumes later, so you get to, like, just play through as Shaved Head Kiryu or something like that. Huh. So we're not being banished, which I suppose is the usual fare for killing someone of that rank. It's just expulsion. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's also the fact that we're in jail, yeah. so yeah. got to deal with that. So what's the difference between the boss and the patriarch exactly? Uh, I th I think it's two names for the same thing. No, wait, no. It's like the boss is the head head, like the president, if you will, and then the patriarchs. There's like multiple of them that are the one step under, like the CEOs, if you will. Okay. So they each kind of. Work with the company, whereas, like, all together they're one big conglomerate. I have to look into this after we're done here. Yeah, like, it's pretty deep. Can you keep expecting Jotaro's voice to come out of Kiro's mouth? Yeah, well, because that's when, when you said, Is there an anime voice actor? I'm like, I thought it was the voice of Jotaro, but then I looked up and I'm super wrong, and that guy is not a huge voice. Like, his biggest role is Kiryu, because, you know, these games are big sellers. <laughs> this food disappoints me. That just seems like a dumb move to do in jail. A little bit. And that dude doesn't even get to eat his food! Come on! Well, he's going to get his hand kissed better. It's fine. 
It would be interesting to hear about how the penal system in Japan kind of works with, like, how their jails work, because I have no idea. I do know that Japan has a 95% incar- incarceration rate. Wow. Meaning, if you get arrested, you will pretty much, like, you're guaranteed to go to jail almost. Um, that's why Ace Attorney is the way it is. Because, like, in Japan, it's pretty much, oh, were you arrested for a crime? Don't e- You don't even need to go to court. You're going to jail. That's how it is. Uh, I guess it keeps crime low, I suppose. So, of course, some of these dudes ha- have connections to the outside, which means they know you kind of did a bad thing, even though you didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, those little things popping up are like little achievement things that track your progress. So of course, to get like, you know, the platinum, you have to do everything, which includes talking to like 5,000 people. Like there's a lot of stuff you have to do to get through these games. Oh man, he has two forks. And I love how he's backwards wielding them like some type of huge weave. It's the best. Beast or mod? Ah! Fuck, missed it. Whatever. It looked cool all the same. Yeah, there, there's a lot of the little quick time events for, for getting more damage and stuff. Um, the the Kiwami boss moves are actually very difficult to pull off because, like, you have to not only have enough meter to be able to use it, which means, like, full meter, but then you have to make sure you do the perfect QTE on them. So, like, some of, like, on my playthrough, I didn't get to see the Kiwami moves on a couple of the bosses because it's just, like, I didn't have the meter at that time at all. Mm-hmm. Okay, doing better, doing better. Nope. Yeah. I kick you. Kapow! Ooh, Kiawe. I keep saying Kiawe. Kiwami means extreme. What is the essence of Kiwami? Uh. So basically, yeah, so you want to go into Dragon Style, and then, yeah, this, so you're doing the, the, the Kiwami move against him. Very nice. I think I redeemed myself for that last battle. And if not, fuck y'all, I'm in prison. You, your, har- your harsh words can't reach me here. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Oh, Tojo Clan is a different one. Gotcha. Why did they wait until after the fight to do that? Well, because they, they were kissing the dude's hands. Oh, mm. There you go. It's a little better now. Things will never be the same. <sighs> yeah, the the save system is weird, the fact that it has to save twice always. Well, I usually save twice anyway, so... No, fair enough, it's better to be safe. <laughs> あの、キリュウのおじきが親殺しをするなんて何かの間違いなんじゃないですか。ま、別にそんな it's quite obvious the difference between people in these games who are real people and the people who are NPCs. Very much so. Very much so. So I think this is one scene that got added in in this version. Hmm. Because it's specifically what was Nishikiyama doing during his time in jail. You know, the guy who you protected from uh, not getting uh, arrested there. What did he do while well, Kiryu was in jail for him? So that's that's kind of what one of the things they added was. There he is. He's listening. Massacre. Look at those pores! I know, man. They're huge! I just want to stuff them with olives. <laughs> I don't know. 
I just said words that they fell out of my mouth. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't realize the patriarch was going to be such a sleaze. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of like, you know, like in, in your company, there's the good people and the bad people. But of course, because you're in a family, because of course they call them like family. It's like, how do you deal with that? Mm hmm. Oh no, I think she pushed a button. Oh, jeez. All women are queens, Nishikiyama. Don't do that. If she breathes, she's a Tojo fart! This hand. I don't need it! There's just like a hook or a, a Mega Man Buster Cannon on them. Yo, no, that's what we need. We need we need a Yakuza game set in the future where they all have, like, gun arms. Yakuza, man. Oh my god, we're ten years in the future now! It's kind of crazy that for killing someone, he only got ten years. I think, you know, I mean, even if he got it, you know, put down for being a good boy in jail. Still very short for killing someone, I feel. Oh, look at all the technology exploding around me. Flip phones, the coolest thing ever. There's something really quaint and charming about technology advancing, but like these little regions staying the same. Oh man, when Kiryu gets out, he's gonna have a lot of anime to catch up on. Oh hell yeah. He's gonna look like the difference in the style of anime between 95 and 2005 would make him cry. Well, it would furrow his eyebrows at the very least. Oh yes, no, for sure, yeah. To be fair, they seem to be permanently furrowed. I've been a good boy in jail. Haven't beat up anyone, mostly because I made my presence known the first day I was here. He asserted his large-bodied dominance. I am even older now. Okay, so this is a weird thing. In the PS2 version, there's supposed to be people lined up left and right, but because of a visual bug, they're not here. Huh. And they talked about that in a localization thing, where they're like, yeah, like, for some reason we can't get them, like, it, and it, it's in the Japanese version, but not the Western one. So they're like, it's not a case of, like, censorship or anything. Also, yeah, look at this real person. Jeez. Um, they, they said, like, we just, for some reason, when we're localizing the game, there's a bug where we can't get these dudes on the left and right to be here. I mean, it kind of works either way, honestly. Yeah, it's fine, but there's supposed to be dudes lining it, like, a, a massive amount of them as they walk in, and it's like, because you gotta remember, when you're making a, when you're localizing a game like this, you have to reprogram it, because it's not made for English text, you know? Yeah. So it's that, I always find localization blogs so interesting, because they talk about, well, here's the process of what we have to do, and it's like, yeah, we literally have to reprogram how things are done. <laughs> Yes, I swear I recognize this guy. Oh, well, again, it's like most of them are actors, so it's like even if you don't know them by name, you know them by face. Why wow, he looks slick now? Oh no, he made his own family. Yeah. Oh no, are they poor now? Well, poor by Yakuza standards. Yakuza <laughs> All these, like, connections and alliances are kind of going over my head, so sorry if I'm not commenting on them. Oh, yeah, no. Like, there's, there's so, like, you need a map to, to list them all out, and I think later games actually give you a relationship map that will literally, when a new character is introduced, be placed, and then you get to see what their relationship is with everyone else. 
どんだけの血流れてるか分かっとんのかよらシマノてめえ誰に向かって口聞いてんだ He's the angry one. He's the calm one. And I'm the one in the middle. Yeah, like we're literally being introduced to the bosses right now. Like these are the dudes you will fight. <laughs> I am smoke. Look how smarmy he is. Yeah. He's done well for himself while Kiru's been inside. Ten years is a long time. Yeah, it is. I look up at the moon every night and I think, damn, why isn't there been a monkey wall free? <laughs> Things have changed. Consequences will never be the same. We have this new thing called vaping? Oh no. Isn't that like a 2010s thing though? It is, but I just, I just imagined, like, you know how they were smoking in the bar? Just replace them with all these, like, vapes. <laughs> <laughs> Majima comes in. Kiryu chan, I just did the fattest rip. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same. A lot more lights around. Grove Street, home. At least it was before I fucked everything up. <laughs> <sighs> is this a good place to stop? I feel so too. Well, I mean, yeah, because now we're actually in the present. We've done it. Bless. Bless up. Yeah, where is the informant, actually? I need to talk to that rat. Find him! At another point in time, because I've been playing for more than the 40 minutes I allocated for this. Uh, save? Yes. So Tanner, just while all these patrons scroll down the screen here, how, how have you enjoyed our time with Yakuza Kiwami? I thought this was the most fun movie com I've ever been on. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, really, let's be real. I enjoyed this a lot. I love the aesthetic. I love the writing, the characters. So far, that is. Things could change on a dime, obviously. Um... Took a bit for me to get used to the combat, but it is actually quite easy to get into. I was just fumbling on like that second big battle with um, the guy. Got... What? He's just a crazy guy. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I beasted the uh, I beasted Johnny Two Forks, as they call him in the slammer. So yeah, if you guys want your own quick look, hey, check out prices on patreoncom comms. Every penny helps to keep the group running, lets us buy games to do playthroughs and projects for you all, and I also get to pay Muggins over here for his time helping me. See you next time for another Hellfire comms at Patreon Quick Look. Bye bye. Ciao.